Hello parents, this is a tour of the Odyssey High School email system. This is the email system that teachers and students use to send emails to one another. And uh, our hope is that you will log on to your son or daughter's email account, become familiar with it, and uh, have your teenager's email from their teachers forwarded to your email address, which is not hard to do. I'll show you how to do that in just one moment. And that way you'll always know what the teachers are emailing your uh, your uh, teenager. So um, let's start by going to the high school homepage, which is what you see here at odysseyk12.org slash hs, odysseyk12.org slash hs. That's the high school homepage. And uh, you'll see up at the top a web call a link called webmail so I'm going to click on that now and we'll go to the login for the webmail and this is the login page so you would put in your son or daughter's first and last name in my case as a teacher I'm just going to put in my first initial and their password and then sign in and when you sign in you'll see something very similar to this where you have the inbox link here and the sent mail here draft mail here etc compose a new email click on this link and it's quite straightforward like any other uh, free email system like hotmail or yahoo and uh, you'll see your son or daughter's uh, first last name at odysseyk12.org over here on the right in this case you're seeing mine and um, the main point of this tutorial is to have you do the following go over here to where it says settings of course this is if you want to go to settings and then click on forwarding and POP slash IMP IMAP click on the forwarding link and if you want your child's email from their teachers to be forwarded to your email address so you can keep uh, tabs and monitor the communications that they have with their teachers then simply click on this uh, second button where it says forward a copy of incoming mail to here it says email address and here you just put in your email address whatever it might be I'm just making this up right now but that's you would put whatever email address you want them uh, I want this system to forward their teachers email to you enter that email address there keep um, Odyssey Charter School mails copy in the inbox leave that just as it is you're done that's all you have to do except to scroll down and hit the save changes button which I will show you in a moment here I'm going to bring it up now that you've put your email address in the forwarding box simply click save changes when you do that all the email that your son or daughter receives from teachers or other students or friends or whatever will be forwarded to your email account that you entered in that box a lot of parents do this it's very helpful you know what's going on uh, with the communication from the teachers to your son or daughter so we encourage you to do this and uh, in essence that's really all I wanted to show you in this tutorial but since I have your attention let me show you one more thing a lot of teachers will have some of their assignments in a Google Doc. Google Doc, okay, that's what they call it, or Google Documents. Or they'll ask the students to prepare an assignment in a Google Document. So I'm going to click on that now. You see up here at the top that uh, there are several links that students can use. There's a startup page, there's a calendar. So go ahead and click on those and see what they are. And But this Google Doc is what's important, so our documents. I'm going to click on this link right now and a new window opens up in front of the old window and what you see here is um, my Google Docs I'm gonna open this window a little further and in the Google Docs area you can or uh, the student can create a Word document online just like Microsoft Word but it's online or they can create a PowerPoint slideshow so they can make a slide presentation online or they can use uh, a spreadsheet like Microsoft Excel but again on this website rather than using the software itself so it's very handy 
and sometimes teachers will ask students to go here and use these Google Docs and hand in the assignment. I do that occasionally. For example, um, here's an example of Caves Formation, which is a, a slideshow on caves that I had my students do. And you're seeing here the first slide. I'm going to move this window around so you can see a little more. Okay, so this is just like PowerPoint. You click in here and you can you can add words, you can add pictures, etc., and make a slideshow. Well, um, when they're done with the slideshow and they want to present it to the teacher, you see this share button in the upper right hand corner. A student would click on it and click on invite people, and then they would invite their teacher to see the slideshow by putting the teacher's email address in here. Or they could, you could ask them to also send you an invitation to see their work, see the slideshow as well, by by putting your email address in this as well, and then they click send at the bottom, and an invitation email goes out to their teacher and you to see the slideshow, or the or the uh, word processor uh, article essay document, or or the um, um, spreadsheet document. So those are the three types of, sh of uh, functions that uh, the Google Docs have, and our students are using those. That's why I wanted you to see this and be aware of it. Thank you.